see any author any writer hates to put his reader into suspense okay he never wants to do because the more he keeps things in suspense not revealing out the main topic it is at his loss whose loss the writer's loss so the tip of it is like immediately the paragraph starts right in the first two lines the topic starts within the first two lines you will understand the topic of the passage the 50 words passage just as a reiteration just as a recap let's say in the first two lines maybe it's a science passage quite dense you didn't understand quite complex language at the end of the two or three lines that's where it's there's a recapping part and naturally the climax is nothing but whatever is being stated in the very beginning of the passage that's exactly what is been reiterated or restated for the sake of the reader the author never wants to uh, you know let go of the reader without making him to understand it can be about a theory it can be about science passage a social passage a hypothesis a poem anything so your answers for main idea questions always lies in the very beginning of the passage or not sure you can check in the last two lines of now the more you read the better you become with your vocab that's very important even the vocabulary can be <clears throat> your biggest stumbling block okay stumbling blocks there is only one thing here if you are not working on as the sat demands the pattern if you're still thinking like you're thinking how to do like a school exam you know how you work with your cbse exams that pattern doesn't work here here the concept is simple uh, wrong answers have to be eliminated to get your right answer so work on the elimination technique to understand the passage don't read the entire passage for main ideas read only the first two lines and the last two lines remaining everything that's between is just the chunks those are the detailing part which can be misleading so don't get misled clear now let's move on to do one more type of the main idea question so main idea questions are also called big picture questions within this we also have something called as um detail type questions yes any questions yeah all right that was okay so we are working on the detail as well as we'll be working on structure and purpose questions okay so one i'm picking out from the structure and uh, purpose which is a craft based questions and uh, at the same time we are working on the detail this is just only two questions you will not get more than two or three questions from the detailing part and you will certainly identify this by the language being used your correct answer okay i repeat your correct answer is a paraphrased version of the passage the lines that you're reading now what's paraphrasing nothing but synonyms now just to test your synonyms just to make uh, no i should know whether you're really good in understanding if the questions or if the answer is given same meaning but different words okay that's what exactly you will find in the answer choices your correct answer choice is having words the sentences that you are reading in the paragraph but different words same meanings which are nothing but synonyms let's see so here's something that you need to work on just to test your vocab skills your synonyms how good are your synonyms let's see investigate an occurrence investigate out of this a to g what's that one word that is a synonym to investigate occurrence occurrence means something that is happening what is that word for happening yes investigate what do you investigate what do you do in investigation yes saisha yes only saisha knows the answer wow okay come on i need more answers wrong mitra so f is not correct correct yes lalita just pay attention okay don't get deviated i know excitement focus yes see my mistake you can't 
So that, those things you can't do for your test. So investigate means to study. Occurrence is like something like a trend, some action, something happening frequently. When something happens repeatedly, what do you call? It's a phenomenon. Occurrence. Next, become more widely accepted. Become more widely. Pick out one word that matches. Widely accepted. Acceptance. Yes. Hmm. Yes, Pranuti. Multiple answers. All right, let me tell you. Bolster means to support. The alternate word for bolster, to bolster. To bolster means to support. Support what? Hypothesis. What's the meaning of hypothesis? Some idea. Support an idea. Okay, that's the meaning of bolster a hypothesis. Okay, broaden means to expand. What is broadening? To expand something. Comprehension. Comprehension means what? Understanding. Comprehensive reading. What does it mean? Understanding the given passage, right? So, <coughs> investigate an occurrence is C. Okay, let me eliminate this. So, we have C over here. Become a widely accepted broaden comprehension. What are you talking? Huh? Saisha, is it E? E, gain, become widely accepted. Accept mean gain currency. E, are you sure? Okay. Now find out the meaning for conjecture. Yes. Strengthen. Strengthen means to strengthen. Means what? To strengthen? Yes. Wait a minute. I'm not getting this F. What's three? Strengthen a conjecture is F. D. Oh my God. Expand understanding is to broaden comprehension. Become resistant. When do you become resistant to diseases? When you have become is like develop. Resistant, alternate word for resistance is immunity. So D, reject a possibility. Reject. Reject, discard, options. Possibilities are nothing but choices, options. Where you go? Posit a theory. So theory, what do we... What was that we discussed? Posit a theory, which is here. Okay. What's the meaning of now? Please make a note of these words wherever you you know you read. Whenever you come across words, you have to make it a point to put this put that in your book, and also write its meaning. Find out the meaning. Now tell me what's the meaning of posit. I've seen this question in words in context. Now you don't know what is posit. From the context, you have to find out. So tell me, posit a theory means what? It talks about bolster. So what could be the possible answer for posit? Okay, you guys are still busy with A, B, C games. Okay. Come on, find the meaning of posit, P-O-S-I-T. Yes? Suggest. Mm -hmm. Suggest a theory. Okay, support. Assuming a fact. Put forward a fact. Yes, good. Fact, theory, idea. Okay. Perfect. Now, now, set two, please. Move on to the next part of the discussion. Set two. Come on. A reason for hope. When you're hoping something, what do you call? A person who's always hoping for something good. What do you call him? Good. Reason for a hope. Reason. Alternate word for reason is cause. And good, Mahendra. Very good. So the alternate word for reason for hope is a cause for optimism. 
what are we doing here we are about to go get into the detail type of questions for getting the right answer because your right answer is always in paraphrased version to the passage that you're reading or to the points that you're reading or the information you're reading in the passage now if you cannot identify that if you don't know the synonyms then it's very difficult it is there you're not able to identify so reason for a hope is cause of optimism very good optimism is hope reason is cause esteemed figure figure a body or a person right esteem means somebody who is like very valuable okay highly regarded there you go d egalitarian system egalitarian system is for a kind of uh, you know that exists in the society or in the workplace it's very common where boss where there is no bossism okay that's called egalitarianism okay very good good f good 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 everyone it's f so there you go non hierarchical arrangement a creative approach alternate word for creative is innovative never ever forget this approach is the take what what are your takes means what are your approaches approach alternate words for approach please make a note method technique take pathway and so on not so on only these a creative approach means approach technique method pathway a take next controversial claim controversial when we when things become controversial yes 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 i'll be umar absolutely claim when you claim it you are asserting that's called assertion a controversial means a di disputed assertion next cause for alarm cause again reason alarm is panic like you you become alert next a continuing mystery mystery continue continue means it's happening repeatedly that means persistent mystery means enigma we don't know about it all right so these are your set of question uh, set of phrases and its synonyms this is like now keep the same spirit same pattern of making your answer choices now let's move ahead with detail type of question which comes only oh, you get hardly two or three of them okay what's your job your job is to look out for words phrases or ideas that direct us towards a particular part of the text okay your job is to underline those keywords uh, which are standing out look out for its synonyms now check the question now check the options you do elimination okay how do you eliminate you will you will certainly understand after you reading the passage now here you are uh, reading the first two lines and the last two lines doesn't work like for your main idea question because the ideas here it is all about detailing part so make sure that you read the entire passage understand it by line of every two lines write your own dumb summary then go check the options in the option you will certainly find that you will certainly find that the answer choice that you are about to mark correct is absolute paraphrased version of that so called phrases that you are reading am i clear this is how you have to work on let's do it so this these are your phrases how to identify whether it's a detailed type of question let's please focus uh we have three types of phrases the most common one you find is according to the text what what is true about the character okay okay and the next one uh, i mean this is the or this is the common phrase according to the text the minute you see till here this this is clear that they are asking detail type okay this is like you have to go into the details but be careful and the theory the, the the plan is you need to work on the alternate words okay so let's do this now for such dense science passages let me remind you 
You don't need to read all this content, okay? Identify what's important for us. Dissect, see anything uh, between the dashes, anything that's between the dashes is just a repetition known as endogenous retrovirus. You can still, earlier studies have shown that fragments of antiviral DNA in the genomes of, that's enough. So you can just simply, anything between the two dashes is none of our business. We're not going to read this. So for science, you have to chop chop on un unnecessary information. Okay. Nobody is like everybody's silent. Let's see. So by the way, what is it talking about? Based on the text, what is true about the study? So read around the study part conducted by the Cornell researchers. So you have to read this part. This is where you have to look out for that paraphrased version. Though the new study conducted by researchers at Cornell University was performed with cultured human cells, that means they are not the actual human bodies. Okay, remaining everything was being tested on the mice, chicken, the actual, uh, uh, what do you say, sample, specimens. But here it's not the actual a human body. That's one thing I'm very clear. So I will write it to myself. That means not the actual human body. All right. This is my one shot of dumb summary. Okay. It shows that antiviral effect of endogenous retroviruses likely also exists for humans. Okay. I get it. So previously they didn't identify it because they didn't test in the human body, actual human body. So let's see what, what are your answers. D, Saiti, D. That's it. Only Saiti and Saisha knows the answers. It demonstrated that fragments of ancient, uh, 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 my dumb summary. It's not the actual human body. Okay, this whole called test was not done in the actual human body versus they've been done in those specimens. It tested for the presence of viral material in a range of species off topic. It's not for that we are looking for. Look out for the paraphrased words. It did not test for the presence of retrovirus in human bodies. Because we're talking about human cells. Sorry, you guys are still struggling. Okay. Not at all. It's not about... It is test, It tested for the presence of viral material in range of species. No. What is the new study talking about? The new study is about was performed with cultured human cells in a laboratory. It shows, what does it show? It shows that antiviral effects of this endogenous retroviruses is also, it can be possible to exist in human beings. So what does it mean? It did not test for the presence of retroviruses in human bodies. They didn't, here they tested, but they didn't test in the human bodies. Instead, they tested on some cultured human cells. That means laboratory, in the laboratory, they prepared them. Okay, like synthetic, artificially prepared human body cells. So it can be possible, like he says, likely, maybe it is present, but they didn't test in the human body to find that out. Hence, your answer is not A, no, not D. It demonstrated that fragments of ancient viral DNA can infect modern humans. Where is the word modern humans? Just because you found the word modern day does not mean that you have to say that it's modern humans. No. We are looking for the same meaning, but words are different. So it did not test for the presence of retrovirus in human bodies. How many of you got this correct? See? How many of you got this answer correct? Okay, good Pranuti. So you got the context. It's about paraphrasing. Please focus on the detailing part. Don't digress over here. These are like distractors. You only have to read what is true. Now, after reading this part, just getting some zest of this part, come to the actual part. They're asking about the study conducted by Cornell researchers. Come directly to the point. Get through the slides. What is it talking about? That 
human it's not actually tested in the human beings so there can be possibility that it can be in the human beings but they didn't test it all right let's move on check this out focus what is true about catherine morland what is true about her these are just the background of the so called novel about the character so what does it talk about okay not needed they are always called as a fine fine family okay because they have heads and arms and legs enough for the number all right i get it and you find a semicolon here which means these are two independent clauses two independent or complete sentences but the morlands had little other right on the word okay for they were generally very plain what does it mean they are not very beautiful okay next very plain means normal like not so good looking and catherine for many years of her life as plain plain as any yeah she was very normal girl she had and this was this is her description awkward figure now from this you can certainly understand they are clearly talking about are they talking about what are they talking about is it about her intelligent being intelligent no remove first do the elimination she was less attractive than other members not at all they were not known for being attractive she possessed characteristics typically associated with heroism just because the word and remember if you find any particular word as it is then that is your wrong answer that's a clear cut hint if you find line by line word by word in the in one of the options it's going to be a wrong answer now hence we are left with a let's see whether it's correct or not she was unremarkable in appearance the unremarkable means not so great in appearance as the rest of her family exactly what they're trying to tell us that's exactly what they're trying catherine for many years of her life as plain as any okay and more her little right for they were generally very plain the same thing as it is just wording difference meaning same am i clear everyone be focused na deepika na that's not correct guys don't get distracted okay work on the paraphrasing skills work on the synonyms all right let's see next one again we have uh, yeah a science science passage much of what any 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 sentence anything that starts with much it's completely a fragment how can you say much of right so generally a sentence always should start with what a subject a noun so this is not relevant what we know about physical and mental toil toll of chronic stress stems from stems from means originates from seminal work by robert so called person beginning in the late 1970s okay not much of our information we don't need anything much but let's see so again a little about him was among the first to make the connections to that hormones okay what's the question asked what is significant what is what's the meaning of significant what is important about sustained stress so read around where the sustained stress is so they, he's talking about to make the connection of hormones released during fight or flight response uh, again like i said you can eliminate this part the ones that helped in the ancestors on the all these things not relevant science you should chop off unnecessary information has deleterious means a damaging effect when stress is severe and sustained okay so they are coming closer sustained especially insidious means find the meaning of insidious find the meaning of insidious even though your answer is correct you should know such meanings in means what insidious insidious means come on insidious can i get some answers okay we have an answer here 
I don't know if you guys are making mentioning this in your notes. Please make sure that you do. All these questions, um, all these words are meant to be understood. Or if possible, please put that in your book. Insidious. So basically here they already said deleterious, something related to damaging or dangerous. Ain't it? So the next word is also something related to that. So dangerous. Okay. Let's see what's your meaning. Achha, you guys are only focusing on your answers. Wow. Okay. All right. As you say so. So your answer is it becomes, pro how did I get progressively? What's the alternate word for progressive? Increasingly. What's the alternate word for harder? Difficult. To shut the stress response down, to reduce. That's the alternate word. Good, Pranuti. Happy to know that you have at least made an attempt to look into and post it in the to me. Okay. Right. So, yes, John, it's unpleasant. More than unpleasant, it's more like harmful. Like it has a very, it proceeds in a very slow manner, slow and steadily. It gets into you in such a way that it's very harmful for you. In, in, in just minute levels, it starts growing in you. So, even though it is in minutes, but it is dangerous. So, insidious means something that, you know, that progresses steadily, gradually, but harmful. It causes harmful effect. Please remember. So, I have all those hints that I need. Increasing is for progressively. Difficult is harder. To shut down stress response down somewhere. Shut down means to reduce or to lessen it, okay? Am I clear on the paraphrasing part? This is how you identify your detailed questions. All right, okay. Mauli, hold on. Keep your hearts to yourself. All right, all right, we are working on the poem part. The following text is from Georgia, okay, not needed. All you have to focus is the word youth. Okay, right. So for poem questions, here's the trick. You have to read first four lines. Okay, the first four, divide the poem into two parts. Divide the poem into two parts. First four lines, always speak something. And the next four lines, they either speak, agree with the previous four lines or contradict. Clear? Yeah? Let's see what the first four lines says. The dew is on the grasses, dear. Okay, the blush is on the rose. Fair enough. A swift across a dial. Youth. Dial here means clock. A shifting shadow goes. The primrose moments lush with bliss, lush winds completely abandoned, uh, abundant, lot of abundancy with lot of blessings. Or bliss means, sorry, bliss means happiness. Exhale and fade away. So here starts the story of something opposite. So it comes and it fades away. So they're talking about youth here. So what are you supposed to identify? According to the text, in what way is youth unlike the autumn of life? Youth is not like that, like autumn. Life may renew the autumn time, but never more, never more the May. So here, what they mean here is, so youth is more like, here you have to find in what way the youth is not like, not like the autumn of life. In what way? Achha, you have no idea. Just, just, keep, just keep marking. Huh? All right. But your answer is correct. The answer is B. How? Here they're talking about, the. there is a representation here. What's the representation? So here youth is like May, which cannot be extended. But old age is like autumn. Where no? The leaves keep falling, but that autumn. Here autumn is something that you cannot extend, right? 
extend there. This we cannot extend. May you can't extend. Autumn you can extend. So old age. So they are representing youth with May and autumn with old age. So your job is to find what is not the autumn life. What is old, not old age here? So that something cannot be extended. So it cannot be extended is the right answer. B. Good, everyone. Good. Good going. So you got the context. All right. So since you all got the context, let me quickly move on to the next part of our discussion. Um, okay. Anybody, what are stereotypes? To interrupt people's stereotypes. What's the meaning of stereotypes? Stereotyping. We have the most common stereotype in Indian societies. Boys can't cry, girls cannot be do, cannot be, you know, something like that. That's one type of stereotyping, right? You're labeling a gender with something. So likewise, we have many stereotypes in the societies, not just only Indian society, around the world. So to find, to interrupt these things, what, what people have previous misconceptions of one another, researchers at Stanford Business School developed an intervention, okay, called daily dairy technique. Okay, I get it. So what they do here is, so this country, guys, dairy, I will give it to you. Your, I will take. So between the two countries, there's exchange of those participants' dairies, okay? And here comes the survey part, the conclusion. What they find, found out is participants in the first country began. So the first country people thought, now what probably they have some stereotyping that, oh, this person is something like that. But now they started perceiving, perceiving means to, to, they start feeling, influence that participants from the second country are ethical. Probably they had a wrong notion about them, but after reading their diaries, they got this perception. They got some conclusions in their mind. They built some patterns in their thoughts. What I thought first was different versus what I read and understood about the second country people is different. So now tell me the word I've already given. Or the, the, I know the word perception to perceive is a verb, to percep perception is a noun. So there's a word family here in the paraphrasing part. So what is it? It promoted perceptions of similarities between culture. That's your answer. Why is BCD not correct? It decreased feelings of antipathy. What is the meaning of anti? Antipathy, not anti, okay? Anti. Anti means something against, opposite. Pathy means to like. So... Opposite of not liking is dislike, isn't it? Antipathy means to dislike. Guys, I'm you, I've just used the suffix and prefix rule, okay? To find out what exactly it can be. So there is no such thing like disliking each other. They were having stereotyping, but disliking is not mentioned. So definitely not B, not C. It caused them to behave in more ethical manner. No, you will not have exact word, you know. So C is completely ruled out. It improved their satisfaction with the aspects of their own culture. No, that's not what we are looking for. We need a proper paraphrased version of the given sentence. Why do I need to look out of all these things? I just will look out for the words that are of different word, but same meaning. Okay. So this is with the detailing type of questions. I hope you understood. It's purely your uh, skill of vocab. They were skills of synonyms. You don't need to go dwell into deeper, or oh, this can be, that can be. Everything is there in different wordings. Different words, same meaning type of questions. And yes, yes, A is the right answer, Saisha. Good. Now let's move on to another, we just got 15 more minutes. So let's work on another, another new concept, which is, just give me a minute. Okay, here we go to the next part of our discussion where most of your questions definitely come from this part. Craft and structure, text and the text structure and purpose. In this type of question, you have three varieties. 
three varieties of questions. Okay. Now let's see all the three. If time permits, we can do all of them. Otherwise, let's go one or only one or two of them. Okay. So we'll be practicing those questions. Now let's understand. Before we practice, let's first understand what's the meaning of purpose. For main idea, what was the whole plan? The plan was to find the topic. What is the central idea? Now, purpose type of questions is why? What could be the reason? What is the reason behind writing this so-called paragraph or phrase within the passage? So the, the author wants to either want to explain you or he wants to describe something. There are different intentions of the writer. His purpose of coming up with those phrases is different. Okay. So you should identify that purpose. It's not the central idea. Don't get confused. Central idea is what is the main thing? Purpur purpose is why and how is the structure? For if you know the why, you know what, uh, in which manner he tried to explain. That comes with the structure part. Okay. So this is exactly I put in, in this write, uh, writing. The purpose or, or so three types of questions. One, you have purpose type questions, the main purpose. Another one is overall structure of the text. And third one is you have an underlying portion within the text. Okay. So any three of them can be there for your test. All right. So I was talking about this, about why is that sentence being put, I mean, have you been used in the passage? What is he trying to accomplish? So these are his intentions. The purpose of you, you know, uh, highlight or bringing those paragraphs or bringing those phrases is either to explain, to illustrate or to criticize some work or to argue on some existing idea or to introduce a new idea or to describe some. When you read, you will definitely understand. Let's say there's a character. So naturally he will be describing the character, ain't it? So you have to find out for that word in the answer options that talks about description part. Okay. Let's see more on this. Okay. This is how your phrasing will be. The primary purpose of the passage is to what choice best states the function of the underlying sentence or it can be the underlying portion primarily serves to any of these three phrases. Uh, and depending upon the question type, it's, it's like whole. You have to read the main primary purpose. then. The question will be of this type. Okay. Now, as I told you, we should also understand certain other tools that will be directing you towards your answer. For example, the, the writer wants to describe something. Naturally, he will be adding some information for his description. So you will find some continuers. Any of these transitions you'll be noticing. Let's say he's expressing some doubt. In that case, the language will be of speculation, could be, maybe, perhaps. So by the words that you look at, you know, please remember this. If not, try to register them in your mind. If I find any of these expressions within my passage, not expressions, any of these transitions, it clearly means something. Either it's a description he's trying to describe, he's trying to illustrate. If you find, for example, it's nothing but illustration to explain. He wants to give more explanation with the example say, or he wants to support his uh, argument by giving an example. So looking at the passage formation, the structure and presence of any of these transition expressions, it should be clear by the time you go to the answer choices that I should look based on this whole structure and understand the purpose of why, what is he trying to establish Right. Let's see. Using NASA's powerful James Webb telescope. Okay, not needed. Too much dense. I'll, I'll be chopping off all this. I don't need. So what exactly I have to read? They measured the wavelengths of light traveling through the atmosphere, okay, of this so-called thing, which is an exoplanet. Why he has, see, he's repeating himself. We don't need even need this. He already said exoplanet, right? So remove this. Eliminate. 
chop chop now here comes another part different molecules absorb different wavelengths of light now from this what do i understand what is that point he wants to tell me in that first slide what point he is making there so this talks about what they did okay this talks about what they did okay i get it this part talks about what they did what does this part talks about different molecules absorb different wavelengths of light and the wavelength measurement showed the presence of carbon dioxide okay this finding is not only offers the first decisive evidence of co2 in the atmosphere of exoplanet but also illustrates the potential for future scientific breakthrough i think something so this this part talks about what they did and this part talks about what does it talk about huh it talks about how important this so called this finding is now from these two try to find your answers the first part is what they did the second part is how important this finding is it discusses a method used by some researchers then states why an alternate no not at all it it didn't talk about what they did it has to have you know that line should have so i'm not going with a next it describes how researchers made scientific discovery all right yes how how researchers no it what did it then explains the importance of the discovery yes guys have we got the answer yes yes so yes yes mrudul that's correct because it justifies what they did and how important this finding is and i feel b is the right one which fits absolutely to my dumb summary it it is describing about how researchers made a discovery yes that's what that i i have summarized and explains the importance of this discovery yes this not only offers he's emphasizing not only this but it's also very important for other things other futuristic things so it's importance yes so do my way also if you are just randomly working out that's good if you are getting it don't go luck by chance you have to do it in a systematic way do some dumb summaries then get to the point yes guys all clear it definitely is not outlining nor examining it clearly describing about researchers making making a scientific discovery and explaining the importance of it i get get it by what i have dumb summarized do dumb summaries don't be lazy okay the next one like i said a poem has two parts first four lines and the last four lines just see what it speaks about tell me what is first four lines talking about my question what is the first four lines of the poem talking about work on the systematic approach don't just go blindly do it things so it's talking about something beautiful thing slim and still gold sky so they're talking about this black cypress which is a type of evergreen tree sensitive exquisite exquisite and this part is trying to explain us something right it's explaining the beauty of something it explains how beautiful an object can be this is the first part what about the next one a black finger pointing upwards why beautiful still finger are you black and why are you pointing upwards so this second part what does it under, what do you understand for the second part from the second version four lines it talks about it questions the question why it questions why the object looks in a certain way now find out your answer from this dumb summary that i got 
the first part talks about the beauty of that object the second part talks about why is it in that way so your answer is let me see no 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 why pranati is it c the first four lines talks about the beauty of the object the second four lines are talking about why why are you like this why are you in this manner why are you looking upwards why are you pointing towards uh, upwards so now let's look at the speaker assess assess means what he is trying to evaluate no this is not an evaluation the speaker describes a distinctive sight in nature that ponders pondering means what pondering like you're wondering why is this pondering means you're thinking why is it this way why is it that way what meaning to attribute to that sight so i get it it's b those who mark b make a smiley face you did it good okay that's how you find your answers why is it not c definitely not it's not talking about outdoor scene nor it is talking about examines her surroundings and all that trash this is all trash all right guys let's take a break over here we'll meet in the next session on wednesday and we'll be finishing off this whole process okay so the next session will be command of evidence where you will be working on textual as well as quantitative for the graph part any questions for you guys please ask anyone you need any answers